हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज प्रशांत कटियार आई एम द फैकल्टी ऑफ द लाइफ साइंस एकेडमी दिस इज द प्रीमियर इंस्टीट्यूट फॉर गेट एंड सी एस आई आर नेट एग्जाम प्रपरेशन ओके इन दिस वीडियो वी डिस्कस अबाउट द रेगुलेशन ऑफ फैटी एसिड सिंथेसिस हाउ डज एडिपोसाइड्स एंड हेपेटोसाइड सेल्स रेगुलेट द फैटी एसिड सिंथेसिस इन आर कंट्रोल वे ओके सो यू नो ऑल अबाउट वेयर फोटी फैटी एसिड सिंथेसिस इज अकर इट अकर्स इन सेल साइटोसो इट अकर्स इन सेल साइटोसो ओके देन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वाई इट अकर्स इन सेल साइटोसोल बिकॉज हेयर सम एंजाइम्स आर आर प्रजेंट विच गाइड द सिंथेसिस ऑफ फैटी एसिड्स ओके लाइक एस्टाइन को एंजाइम कार्बोक्सिलीज इज प्रजेंट एस्टाइन को एंजाइम कार्बोक्सिलीज एंजाइम इज प्रजेंट and another factor uh, why it is occurring in this fatty acid is occurring in cytosol another reason is uh, this nadph concentration is lower so mitochondria adjust this uh, lower concentration and uh, when this concentration of this coenzyme nadph is higher then it signals acetyl coenzyme a to promote acetyl uh, fatty acid synthesis okay so it means it promotes this enzyme also uh, so that means uh, acetyl coenzyme a is precursor for fatty acid synthesis okay but uh, when uh, it this mechanism is actually based on uh, based on uh, the enzyme of activity of this enzyme okay so this uh, other uh, factors are which control the activity of this enzyme is is citrate also citrate which act as a allosteric activator for this enzyme activate okay so this as citrate is allosteric activator this is also as allosteric activator and another factor is is atp so when these two uh, these three acid uh, 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 concentration of these three allosteric activator is higher then it promotes the fatty acid synthesis okay so uh, actually citrate is present in mitochondrial matrix so uh, when the fatty acid is synthesized the this citrates come out from the mitochondrial matrix and uh, uh, increases the concentration of citrate and when this uh, citrate is comes out uh, and breaks into acetyl coenzyme in oxaloacetate it promotes fatty acids so how this citrates come out of from this uh, mitochondrial matrix to the cytosol so there is some shuttle system is uh, present here that is called citrate citrate shuttle system or s acetyl coenzyme e or acyl coenzyme e uh, shuttle system yeah this system is operated okay so this is the system through which uh, citrates come out from mitochondrial matrix to the cytosol and which promotes the fatty acid synthesis 
So now, uh, when citrate, suppose citrate is uh, this is the shuttle system where citrate is uh, actually formed in mitochondrial matrix. First of all, you have to know when the uh, all the students know about uh, Krebs cycle also. So how this citrate is formed? Citrate is actually formed by uh, combination. This is the six carbon organic compound, which is formed by the combination of acetyl coenzyme A and uh, oxaloacetate. Okay. Oxalic acid is present in mitochondrial matrix, but acetyl coenzyme is produced from pyruvate. Okay, when this pyruvate is available, or when this pyruvate is oxidized, it produces two carbon compound that is acetyl coenzyme. Okay, now this pyruvate is formed from glucose or some amino acid also glucogenic amino acids which uh, produces glucose or some amino acids like aniline which produces pyruvic acid or pyruvate through which this pyruvate uh, produces in the cytosol and this is this actually pyruvate is permeable to the mitochondrial membrane also it diffuses into the mitochondrial membrane and where it oxidized again into acetyl coenzyme A and this acetyl coenzyme A ox diff uh, fuses with oxaloacetate and form a 6 carbon compound citrate okay now this citrate is actually uh, is actually uh, transported to the mitochondrial mat matrix into the inner membrane and inner membrane uh, inner mem uh, to the inner membrane and then it uh, transported again to the outer membrane and diffuses from the outer membrane into the cytosol citrates now come into the cytosol this cytosol citrate where citrate is cleaved by enzyme known as citrate lyase now citrate lyase uh, breaks this citrate into acetyl coenzyme A and oxaloacetate okay so this also two carbon compound now which is the precursor of fatty acid comes into the uh, cytosol and this cytosol this acetyl coenzyme A undergo for fatty acid synthesis FA which is donated by FA okay now the uh, rest of the exoacetate uh, comes back into the mitochondrial matrix and uh, in the form of malate or pyruvate okay either it directly comes back into the uh, uh, into the mitochondrial matrix in the form of malate or it breaks into the pyruvate uh, because malate transporter is also present in the inner membrane of the mitochondria and pyruvate uh, transporter is also present in the inner membrane so this uh, these two organic compound is permeable to the mitochondrial membrane so in this form oxalose acetate is comes back into the uh, mitochondrial matrix to generate again citrate uh, this molecule up, uh, uh, up to this process uh, this shuttle system uh, operated uh, until the whole fatty acid synth synthesis is uh, is occurred okay so this is the controlled way this this pathway is uh, occurred in a controlled way so uh, 
actually this citrate uh, which is allosteric activator which we, which i told you uh, this depend on two mechanisms uh, phosphorylation or dephosphorylation Phosphorylation or dephosphorylation. If uh, if the fatty acid is uh, is uh, present in an excess amount, which fatty acid when the cell con having lower amount of fatty acid, then it produces a fatty acids through citrate. So, okay. Then in this case, uh, this enzyme, acetyl coenzyme carboxylase, when the fatty acid is uh, is synthesis is going on then uh, dephosphorylation of this enzyme is occurred okay but, uh, okay so dephosphorylation activates this acetyl coenzyme a uh, carboxylase okay so for that purpose for the for for the dephosphorylation of this uh, enzyme for the activation of this enzyme insulin is uh, uh, guided signals which promotes uh, the activation of this enzyme and hence the fatty acid synthesis is occur okay now uh, this is the uh, in this way fatty acid synthesis is occur if this fatty acid is another question if this fatty acid is occur uh, stored in adipocytes where fat usually fatty acids fat is uh, stored as triacylglycerol form as triacylglycerol form which is uh, all droplets in this uh, which is stored as oil droplets okay okay so this is the way uh, through which this is the phosphorylation dephosphorylation step now uh, what about this phosphorylation step when it is when this uh, phosphorylation step is uh, is act okay so this phosphorylation step is act when when the uh, fatty acid synthesis is uh, if the uh, cell having ample amount of fatty acids then it uh, it stops the synthesis the it promote to stop this synthesis okay uh, so in this uh, in this way then this phosphorylation mechanism by following this mass phosphorylation mechanism it uh, phosphorylate this enzyme acetyl coenzyme carboxylase which inactivate this enzyme acetyl coenzyme carboxylase with the help of uh, hormone glucagon with the help of hormone glucagon and epinephrine when this hormone is secreted out this hormone epinephrine is secreted from adrenal medulla when adrenal medulla in hyper tense state okay this epinephrine hormone is uh, secreted out from adrenal medulla or when glucagon is secreted from pancreatic cell pancreatic cell it promotes the phosphorylation of this enzyme which inactivate this enzyme and hence the fatty acid synthesis is stopped okay now uh, this is this mechanism is only for animal in case of water breeds. So, uh, in addition uh, uh, of phosphorylation or dephosphorylation mechanism, uh, some end product mechanism is also uh, produced is also governed here to activate to control the uh, activity of this enzyme. So. Uh, Whenever the uh, fat, uh, fatty acid synthesize, in case of vertebrates, uh, the primary 
our preliminary uh, product of fatty acid synthesis is 16 carbon compound that is palmitic acid palmitic acid or palmoterial 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 coenzyme a palmoterial coenzyme a or or fatty acid or palmitic acid when uh, this palmitic acid is uh, produces in excess amount then this palmitic acid act as an inhibitor for this acetyl co uh, carboxylase because this is the end product of this uh, mechanism this uh, palmitic acid act as act on this enzyme and this mechanism is called feedback inhibition or end product mechanism so this is the all about mechanism how uh, this uh, phosphorylation or dephosphorylation step controls the activity of uh, acetyl coenzyme carboxylase activity and another mechanism is when this uh, palmitic acid is produces in excess amount so uh, this excess amount controls the also activity of acetyl coenzyme A carboxylase actually this phosphorylation or dephosphorylation is dependent on on hormone that is why it is called hormonal dependent mechanism and this is not a hormonal dependent mechanism this is the end product mechanism which where uh, end product of fatty acid synthesis in case of vertebrates is palmitic acid this is the primary 16 carbon compound c you can write in this way 16 carbon is to zero no double bond is introduced this is a saturated fatty acid and this saturated fatty acid as actually controls the activity of this enzyme acetyl coenzyme carboxylase okay clear if students if you have any confusion about this topic or you can contact me at the life science academy my contact number is 9956776133 okay and another contact number is 9140889393346 okay and if you like my video then you can subscribe it and watch it regularly okay thank you